Hi everyone. Welcome to another Tech Tips channel. Today I am going to share with you how to trigger a process when a Google Sheet is changed. In the other words, externally eventing with Google Sheets. I do made a video for this topic before. But due to the app sheet events extension is updated. Some of the setup steps has changed and it is much easier now. So I decided to make a new video to share the new setup steps. If you are interested in the old video, click on the link that is shared at the top right. All right, let's begin our workshop today. Firstly, we have to install an add-on in the Google Sheet. To demo this function, I have created a table with three columns: number, name, and department. All right, let's install the Absheet event extension. First, click on the extensions in the menu, select add-ons, then click the get add-ons. Then search up sheet events. Click on the up sheet events, then install it. Make sure you are choosing the correct extension. All right, let's back to the Google Sheet to enable the Upsheet events. Turn the events on for the table. In my Google Sheet, I just have one table, the master table. The Upsheet event is turned on with a tick icon next to the table name. All right, setting in Google Sheet is completed. Let's back to Upsheet to create a bot. Let's create a bot and name it as Sheet Event Handler. Then create an event that manages all data changes in the master table. Then create a task which run a data action. For demo purpose, I set the action as delete. Of course, in the reality life, you may set to notify the person in charge if data changes. Via an email, notification, SMS and etc. Remember save your project after changes. All right, we have create the bot, which will delete the row if data changes in the Google Sheet. Let's test the bot. Enter a new data and wait for a few seconds. Let's count the time. 1 2 3 4 5 Oh well, it took less than 30 seconds to take action. Let's try it at data. Same as just now, it took less than 30 seconds to take action. All right, we have complete our workshop today. Bonus tips: If your Upsheet account and data source account is different, please make sure you added the data source account as a user for this app. Else, the Upsheet events won't work. We end here now. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Bye.